bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. Well, before we uh, get going today, um, we have a very exciting thing, and that is, is that a new uh, Alpha Wax uh, goose has arrived and will now be joining the haunted table. Please welcome Jessica Pugh. Oh, hello. Oh, attention. Oh, hell, gosh, you, you, you look very important. Uh, so I'll explain this. So, so Jessica, uh, uh, she plays rugby. Uh, but she also trains up uh, army cadets. So I thought, you know what? We haven't got anyone in uh, in a services uniform on the haunted table. Uh, so there it is, Jessica. Uh, so welcome uh, to the haunted table. Welcome to the Affawak uh, Gooses. And uh, thank you very much for goosing up. And, and thank you for goosing up to a level which 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 brings you onto the haunted table. Oh, it's my pleasure, my pleasure. Attention! Oh, I think she's going to be good. Um, please, Chris Forth. Uh, to the bleach. It's like your quest for us. I'm, I'm questing for us. I'm questing for her. She's questing forth in a very, very, very uh, orderly way. Thank you. Uh, actually, no, sorry, sorry. You get to go on the on the cloud. It's your first day. Hang on. Come on, Sharon Renzuli. Uh, you've been up there for a good long while. Yeah, I'm here in Renzuli. Uh, but here we go. Here's Jessica Pugh. First day. On the cloud, will you look at the tremble on that? Will you look at the tremble on it? Uh, there we go. Just give you a little, little tremble. Thank you, uh, Sharon Renzuli. I'll pop you there for now. The bleachers are getting quite, quite full. I may have to build bigger bleachers. Well, some of you can have. To, we'll have to go to the spa. Um, you'll have to choose. Right before we uh, get going. Um. We must do today's advent while I remember. And then we shall crack on with, with Lay Nol. Lay Nolly Nol 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 Nol. Right. Uh, what day are we today? It's the 8th. 8. So if you can see it, there it is. Who have we got? Oh. We're getting a Christmas tree. Little mini Christmas tree. By the way, while I'm at it, I did see this. I have got the Google eyes up and running, and I may as well say it now. Um, but no, Noreen, 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 Noreen um, has said, and this is a good tip for anyone who's got one of these. Um, uh, she says at morning, don't throw out the inside of the advent calendar. That's this bit. Don't throw it out. It makes a handy thing for planting seeds or little slips if you're so inclined. That is a top tip. Uh, Noreen, so yes, thank you for that. Now then, what's going on here? So I think that's going on there. Then this. Mm. Oh, now this, I think. Having to do this one-handed, which is it's which is just foolishness, isn't it? You'll be pleased to know, by the way, that Georgie Gibbon has has got me a little blow heater, and I'll let you into a little secret. Um, I've actually done the knoll already and the Pearson, um, but I'm going to pretend in a minute that I haven't done it uh, for editing purposes. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm letting you into the secrets, but I've done that. Uh, because uh, I can only have the blowy heater on when I'm not speaking. That doesn't feel right. No, it's because it's not. Um, so I came in, and in order to get a little bit of warmth going on in here, because I cannot tell you how cold it is, um, I came in and did the Nolf and Pearson first. Uh, because it, it, I, 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 I genuinely don't think I can have the heater on um, 
while we're filming and speaking because it makes too much of a racket, sadly. Uh, but it's alright, I've got the I've got the Tweedle twins. Um Blanky. And I've got the gloves that are over there, which I can put on at a moment's notice. I, d I didn't need them during the piercing. Um, and the and the knoll because I had the heater on. If kiosk. If kiosk. If kiosk. Oh, this is a bit fiddly. I probably should have put these bits on before I. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Little bit fiddly. Little bit fiddly. Crumbs alive. Come on. One more. One more. I mean, this is a nice little tree. it yep there yeah, look lovely little tree super uh, right then um, we will now pretend uh, that I've got the knoll to do ooh oh I'll see you after it ooh in a minute goodbye <laughs> Pearson. Right, we're off proper and uh, we start with a minifig. The last of our uh, firefighters. Um, Ooh, I've put his head on a bit weird. There we go. Um, someone who likes combing. I think that's a lady. Um, I think it's... Uh, I'm going to call her Terry. Hello, Terry. Uh, uh, hi, hi. Have you been firefighting long? Um, yeah, about ten years now. Oh, so super, super. Well, off you go. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, obviously, you've seen the Nolan and the Pearson. It's absolutely mahoosive. There's no way we're finishing this today. Uh, right, Sharon Ransoli. Sharon Ransoli. Sharon Ransoli. Sharon Ransoli. Sharon Ransoli. Sharon Ransoli. Wrong bit. Oh, no. Hang on, Sharon Ransoli. Enough. I've, I've immediately commenced with the wrong... <laughs> well done, Brian. <laughs> uh, immediately commenced with the wrong piece. Should have been that. Thank you. I says, yo, mother goose, uh, I'm testifying. Someone uh, said yesterday, uh, getting old sucks. Yo, life don't suck. No, it don't. I think it takes a young person to say that life is astonishing. It's dope. Yo, look around. Yeah. Flip your noggin and see the miracles. Yo, maybe it takes aging to realize this truth. You're a spirit having a human experience. We got that straight? Later. Ten, four. Oh, Sharon. Uh, you could not be more right. You could not be more right. Uh, I thoroughly agree with you. I I had the joy recently. Ooh, 
no it's not that it's a four i had the joy recently of um interviewing a woman who uh is an octed she's i think she's 80 84 anyway she she became a stand-up comedian uh, she's called lynn ruth miller and she became a stand-up comedian when she was 70 and my gosh the life she has led good grief um but she was an inspir. it was a joy to speak to her absolute joy i think you uh, you can that was for the chortle um the chortle uh, comedy uh, literary festival which i'm sure you'll be able to see that somewhere they'll they'll be archived anyway it wasn't that long ago if you go to the Chortle website, you can probably watch it. But it, she was just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Um, uh, Tweedle, Mandy, Tweedle, Vos, Poo, Sue. They are twins and they love poo. Hello, Mother Goose. H hello, Tweedle, uh, Vos, Poo, Sue. Um, hello. Uh, Tweedle, Mandy and me have been mulling over the dilemma of putting evil prof Lego in the Blair Hole when John Parry is allowed his liberty. Our suggestion is you make an evil Prof Lego minifig that looks almost exactly the same as John Parry and stick him in the clink. This is indeed a, a cunning idea. Um, I shall consider it most seriously, madams. Of course, I have to get a Bob Ross body. I'd have to get another Bob Ross. But yes, this is a this is a very good idea. <coughs> uh, er, by the way, John Parry, has, has your minifig and, and doodah breaks up rider arrived yet? Because it blinking well should have. Oh, and, and also on matters of post. Um... If I just say to you that I was in the post office yesterday for the best part of half an hour. Best part of half an hour. Anyway, everything that is that, that is set to be on its way is now very much on its way. Um, so, Michael, uh, your Elf Clubhouse is on its way. Ruth Hayes, your Mindstorms are on its way. Um, we've got, I've got some, some goose membership packs for those of you who are waiting for those. They're on their way. Um, and everyone else is getting a little something. They're on their way. It's on their way. So that's something to, I mean, don't get overexcited, everybody. It's just a little something. <laughs> I mean, seriously, seriously, I've, 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 I'm worried now. I, I feel like I've overplayed this. It's, it's actually nothing, really. But anyway, it's just a little something. I hope you like. Um, Eric, Eric, he's got a duck on Fazio. They both like watching Lego. And they really like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Ba -ba -bum. Etc. Um, it says, yes, you do need to straighten me up on the poo goda. I haven't had alcohol since November the 8th. Oh, that's very good. You're very good, Eric. You're very good. You're very, 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 very good. Um, but you're straightened up now. You're, lo you're looking tremendous, by the way, over there. Are you all, I hope you're already planning some sort of enormous party for January the twentieth. Is that is that when uh, is that when the 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 orange tangerine leaves the White House at midday? I do believe. Um, let 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 the world rejoice. Um, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan. Uh, <coughs> I'm innocent too, Mother Goose. Sometimes I don't realise I've done a boing until it's too late. Yeah. Join join the club, Jordan. 
join the club where we're just innocents and everyone else around us is just filthy mucky dirty that that that's 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 all it is that's all it is Ooh-ee. Thought you was from Canada and then we didn't think you was from Canada and then it turned out you was from Canada. It's Jillian B. Um, in the most recent episode of Taskmaster A. The participants had to act out different parts in a scene and say their lines with various accents. Basically what you do every day here, eh? Another reason for you to be on the Taskmaster. Love, 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 no. Love, the snow. Covered steps. I mean, obviously, I would love to be on Taskmaster. I think it it, 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 it is clearly something I was born to do. But, um, alas... I doubt it's ever going to happen, um, because as I, I I I know I have to keep uh, quietly reminding you all, uh, I'm I'm not actually famous. I'm sorry about that, uh, but but it's it's true. Uh, Eric says I I just uh, oh no wait it's me it's me still Emma don't don't forget the other thing I said eh no so I'm, I'm sorry Gillian B. Well, I just wanted to say that we have grey and black squirrels here, eh? Uh, I think there are red squirrels at the cottage if the blue heron hasn't eaten them again, like the chipmunks. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. Sorry, this sounds like you've, you've just slipped this in under the radar, some sort of horror story about a blue heron eating squirrels and chipmunks. Sorry, Gillian B. Did you notice, everybody, how she just slipped that in casually? Did you? I'm just going to read that again. I'm just going to read that again. I think there are red squirrels at the cottage if the blue heron hasn't eaten them again. It's the use of the again. Like the chipmunks, eh? <laughs> what? What? She just casually slipped that in. Hmm. Eric, I just wanted to let you all know that my production of Annie from last year where I played uh, Daddy Warbucks, how can we ever forget the Mutton Jeffs that you, you had astride your, your, your fabulous cheeks? We'll be streaming this weekend and next, 8 p.m. Saturday, which would actually be 1 a.m. Sunday morning, UK time, and 2 p.m. Sunday, which would be 7 p.m. Sunday, UK time. It's not a virtual production. It's the actual stage production recorded last year in either November or December. We ran for five weekends. I'll post the link here and on Twitter and in the Affleck chat. Oh, that's super. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he then adds, what, what a ride, Felicia. Uh, thank you. I mean, she said you're welcome. I mean, I didn't. I don't know if I needed to ex- explain that. I do believe that's the end of the Google eyes, so we can go to the Um. Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Lex with Bricks. Says some of you may even get it tomorrow. Depends on what your local delivery office is like. There have been many weeks this year when I've been lucky to get one delivery a week. What? Are you, um, are you sure that's... Well, because you just haven't got any post, Mr. Graham Triggs. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just suggesting it. Uh, it's it's a possibility, um, but I hear you. I hear you, sir. I hear you. Well, I hope you get yours soon. I haven't commented on the shoulder pads because I can't spell them. They're not shoulder pads, Mister Graham Triggs. They're epaulets. They're epaulets. Sorry, fruity burp. 
Oh no. I thought I was going to get away with that today. Oh, oh, oh no, is that uh, was that the red sand machine? Um, yes, it was, little Sue. Yes, yeah. Have you changed the batteries? Like I've asked you now about one million times. <whistles> no, no, don't bring in the dolphin. I've asked you, not the dolphin. <laughs> no, I said no dolphin. Um, no, little Sue, no, I haven't done it. Do, do you want me to press the button? No, I don't want you to press the button. I don't want you to do anything except change the batteries. Now you can press the button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, back to Mr. Graham Triggs. I haven't commented on the shoulder pads because I can't spell them. Yes, we've already established they're called epaulets, they're not shoulder pads. This is supposed to be RWB, not a spelling B. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is fun. Oh, come forth, Mr. Graham Triggs. Maybe a top, a top here, so it, it feels suitably dramatic and possibly a close up. Oh, I mean, hello. Right, Mr. Graham Triggs sings. Here we go, here we go. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible say, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christi most day. Hark, now hear the angels sing. Ah, a king was born today, and men will live forevermore because of Christy Moste. Mary's boy child Jesus Christ was born on Christy Moste. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take as much as that as you're giving, Mr. Grown Triggs. Uh, as much as that as you're giving. Little soup. And she's called Little Sue. She's little and she's called Sue. It's Little Sue. H Hello. That's me. That's Little Sue. La Petite Sue. With the cafe, with the poisson, poisson. Can you eat poisson of my poisson, poisson? I mean, I'd go on, but I'm a little bit cross with you today, am I? Because, well, I don't even have to say it again, do I? But you know for well why I'm cross with you, because... I don't have to have asked you one million times about about it and you are either ignoring me or you're just being lazy bones. <laughs> and um, stop it because every time you get told off you just bring in a dolphin. Don't think I haven't noticed. <laughs> My point is made. Yeah, all right. What would you want to say? Uh, Emma. Yes. I, I, I thought those long black pieces with white squares on the end of our beds for the firefighters. What, these? Are you insane? They, they couldn't sleep on there. But anyway, well, I, I, because I thought it was a bit like in the elf house, but they can't be because they're outside the station. And well, I mean, they could be, but they'd, they'd get a bit cold. A bit cold, they'd, they'd freeze to death, little so Yes, I can see that now. Please press the button. If it works. Oh, you got lucky. Shh. Uh, Ruth Hay says, yes, I too wondered what they were representing. They're clearly stairs. Um, how odd that there was a ready-made staircase added to the first few snow-capped steps. I trust all will be revealed. Hmm. They're just stairs, aren't they? Going up. They're just outdoor stairs that go up. And I, I'm quite surprised that the, the, this has become a controversial matter. Um, but okay. Maybe maybe I am very wrong. Maybe they turn into something magnifico. Sorry, Fruity Burp. Oh. You, you see? I'm, I'm going to mention it every single time. Because... You haven't changed the batteries. <laughs> no, 
No, not the dolphin. Please press the button. You got away with that one very well, didn't you? Shh. Just be quiet. Uh, Eric Oswald says, here is the link to buy a ticket to our production uh, from Annie last year and to see me as Daddy Warbucks. And uh, here it is. There's the link. There's the link. You can go and watch that at your leisure. Um, quite a bold, a bold tweet here from uh, Mr. Graham Triggs the VAR, the official ref referee of Relax with Bricks. He just says squirrel. Yeah. We we get them in around Hitchin and Stevenage. Uh, I've we used to have loads in the tree out. Well, I mean not loads, but we would see them on a regular basis. Uh, in my 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 mum and dad's old house. <sighs> uh, Bevy Smarson, the sensei, Uncle Strawberry, the moaning many the matter of the Lego whisper. <laughs> So I do like the idea of a minifig calendar. Oh, I'd be all over it. Oh, by the way, Bevis, I have totally gone and got myself all those Batman's minifigs. I went crazy. I went. I went mad. And uh, uh, and and I, I will. I will blame Little Sue in this because she sent me a link. She found them and she sent me a link, and uh, and I went crazy. And I purchased every single one of them. <sighs> I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But anyway, we're going to have a range of absolutely fabulous Batmans uh, on the haunted table very shortly. Um, Bevis says, vis-a-vis uh, -vis minifig calendar, he says, I suspect it'd be vastly too expensive for them to produce. Most of the pieces in the regular calendars are the very common small and thus cheap bricks. Then he says, uh, yes, I thought maybe a garage, garage or a uh, petrol station just based on the colours. Then he says, those are indeed lovely doors. Very good use of timing. Absolutely super doors. Love them. He says, I don't dislike those rather skinny pillars at the front, but they are a bit odd. Yes. I mean, they could have just, just, uh, sorry, I'm pointing with my finger. That's illegal. Um, I know what you mean, that they could have, made them a bit more solid couldn't they with these things rather than this yeah I agree with you <laughs> and he says I'm pretty certain that's the penguins top hat the snowman has on there uh, there have been other top hats in the past but they're much sm simpler and smaller and there look we see the, the pingu uh, with his top hat on and yes it does look suspiciously like that uh, so well spotted Bevis uh, Neil uh, raises his hand. Uh, did you open door five on the advent calendar, Mother Goose? That would have been Saturday. I understand you'd be pleased with the surprise behind if you have opened that door. Puts hand down. Really doesn't want to cause a fuss. Um, excuse me. Were, weren't you all? Were, were, you, were none of you paying attention on live and bricking? It was the first thing I did, and we had uh, a workman uh, who had a belt, and he has had some dynamite in fact look if if i just peek through if i peek through i mean have you have, have you ever seen all of all from here all the way around to here all the way you can't even see it, it this is all to accommodate the afwax on the haunted table it's, it's ridiculous um i would look there he is him him we opened him up on live and bricking thank you thank you Thank you, sirs. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Me, forget to open an advent calendar. Well, how very dare you. As if I'd ever done that. As if. <laughs> uh, Bev Bratton says, I was about to ask what was behind door number five, as I couldn't remember seeing it being opened. It, it, we did it on live and bricking. Were none of you paying attention? Nobody pays a jot of attention. Well, well, you say that, but then everybody is constantly hauling over you, hauling you over the coals uh, for this. And so who is who is this talking to me now? Is this is that person again? I, I know. I I just I don't know what's going on. 
every single time every single time Ooh. right that's going there and then this little that there like that I wonder what that's going to be uh, Emma yes I, I want to do agree with you and say those are lovely doors they are nice and they are red and they are shiny blue first the bottle oh dear shall we just move on Emma yes thank you uh, Eric Oswald says uh, I'm kind of surprised they didn't make the doors roll up doors like the garage had all firehouses have roll up doors oh yes that was a very good roll-up door that we had on the uh, on the garage modular. That was fa the corner garage. It was absolutely fabulous. Uh, Mike, formerly known as Toby Moore Jake, says uh, he got the wrong email. Says, "Ooh, the fire station doors on the modular builder, the roll-up type Lego loves a fire station." Oh, look at that! You can't get that for love nor money now. Honestly, it's like ridiculous money. That I would love to do it, but it's ridiculous money. And they've got some stunning ones in their archives. Um, uh, Marco Pendlebury uh, says, I just wanted to thank Dame Dawn if she's watching today for the first Vicar of Dibley lockdown episode. It was very funny. It was brilliant. Uh, so let's have a... Thank you. It was very funny. And if any of the other non-UK Afawax haven't been able to find it, I can put it on Google Drive. Oh, God God bless you, sir. God bless you. Yes, well done to Dame Dawn. Well done to her. Well done. Well done, madam. Well done. Voila. Voila, voila. Voila, voila, voila. Voila, 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 voila. Voila, voila, voila. Are you just going to sing voila, voila? No. Who are you? What's the, who is that? It's coming in here. Being rude. Uh, Jordan, hashtag Dr. Jordan's facts. Red squirrel facts. Number two. Red squirrels occupy boreal coniferous woods in northern Europe and Siberia, preferring, preferring Scots pine, Norway spruce, and Siberian pine. Mm, we're, off, we're off to a good start here. We're off to a good start. In western and southern Europe, they are found in broad-leaved woods where the mixture of tree and shrub species provide a better year-round source of food. Hmm. So far, so far, so you could probably work that out. In most of the British Isles and in Italy, broadleaved woodlands are now less suitable due to the better competitive feeding strategy of introduced grey squirrels. Yes, those pesky grey squirrels. They're very pesky. Mating can occur in. Oh, steady on. Steady on. Steady on. There's chat. There's chat of. There's chat of mating. Steady on. Ste steady on. Steady on, everyone. Mating can occur in late winter during February and March, and in summer between June and July. Up to two litters a year per female are possible. Each litter averages three young, called kits. Oh, that's me. This is lovely. This is lovely. It's lovely. They're called kits. It's lovely. Gestation is about 38 to 39 days. The young are looked after by their mother, alone, and are born helpless, blind, and deaf. They weigh between 10 and 15 grams. Their body is covered by hair at 21 days. Their eyes and ears open after three to four weeks, and they develop all their teeth by 42 days. Hmm. Juvenile red squirrels can eat solids around 40 days following birth and from that point can leave the nest on their own to find food. However, they still suckle from their mother until weaning occurs at 8 to 10 weeks, the little beggars. Usually, multiple males will chase a single female until the dominant male, usually the largest in the group, mates with the female. Same as us. 
Males and females will mate multiple times with many partners. Mm. Same as us. Females must reach a minimum body mass before they enter estrus. <laughs> Did anyone see this coming? <laughs> Did anyone? Did anyone see this coming? Did any did anybody see this coming? That we're now discussing the hoo has of squirrels. <laughs> ah, and heavy females, on average, produce more young. If food is scarce, breeding may be delayed. Typically, a female will produce her first litter in her second year. The eastern grey squirrel and the red squirrel are not directly antagonistic and violent conflict between these species is not a factor in the decline in red squirrel populations. The eastern grey squirrel appears to be able to decrease the red squirrel population due to several reasons. The eastern grey squirrel carries a disease, the squirrel parapox virus. That's an excellent name for a virus. The squirrel parapox virus that does not appear to affect their own health but will often kill the red squirrel <laughs> the eastern grey squirrel can better digest acorns while the red squirrel cannot access the proteins and fats in acorns as easily and unfortunately the red squirrel is put under pressure it will not breed as often the red squirrel is protected in most of Europe as it is listed in Appendix 3 of the Berne Convention. It is listed as being of least concern on the IUCN red list. However, in some areas it is abandoned and is hunted for its fur. Oh no. During October 2012, four male and one female red squirrel on permanent loan from the British Wildlife Centre were transport transported to Tresco. I almost said Tesco, which would have been very worrying. In the Isles of Scilly by helicopter and released into Abbey Wood near the Abbey Gardens. Only two survived and a further 20 were transported and released in October 2013. Although the red squirrel is not indigenous to the Isles of Scilly, Tresco, I said Tresco, not Tesco, seems to be a safe haven for the red squirrel as the islands are free of predators such as foxes and grey squirrels. I, th I think that's the end of your facts. I think that's the end. Um, well done. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Uh, I mean, now you've said this, I sort of think that Tesco should become a safe haven for squirrels. Do you not? Do you not agree? Mm. Uh, Mike, uh, formerly known as Tobin Mori, Jake, he got the wrong email, says, uh, don't forget the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> then he says, a hashtag AFWAC Advent Day 7 brings us a representation of an oversized magical gramophone used to play music to teach the students how to waltz at the Yule Ball. Hashtag, time to get your dancing shoes on. Mm, hello, madam. Uh, well done, that concludes uh, Club Business. Uh, we need a Professor Lego poll as, as a matter of some urgency, please, uh, in terms of uh, what we're going to build next, because oh, I, don't, I don't think we will finish uh, this today, but we will definitely finish it tomorrow. Of that, there is no doubt. All right. So it's pretty good. We can have a... a We've got a good amount of time for building now today. Oh look, little coffee machine. That's a, that's a that's a that's a neat little way of doing a coffee machine, isn't it? And that okay, in that corner there. Voila. Oh, 
morning. Reminiscent of a sink. And again. <clears throat> so just to remind you, the choices uh, for next build are um, a, a spruced up burrows, which will be sort of unburrowed and turned into something Christmassy. Um, a Christmas Batman, that's the Sue Perkins set. We might want to wait till she is one day allowed to return to the Lego shed. Who knows when that will be though. Um, I mean, to be fair, next time she comes, she'll she'll come and build any old thing. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be the one she got me for my birthday. Um, or I think I'm also going to offer up. I don't know if we'll do the city ones because they're a bit. They're, they're, I, I've mostly just got those for animation purposes, and and they're not particularly long builds. Or we could tackle that that Chinese toy store which is a very big build, um, and that will keep us going, I imagine, through into the new year. So anyway, uh, you can choose. You can choose. I haven't forgotten, by the way, that uh, I've promised to um, undo the, 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 the shack, the fish shack, and build that again for you, don't worry forgotten. I'm not offering that this time though. Voila. Unless there's, you know, a rebellion. In which case I'll, I will. Oh, that must be a little radio. That's clever. That's rather clever, isn't it? <gasps> oh, there's some time. Baltic. It's absolutely Baltic. I suppose I could try putting the heater on, but I think it will. I think it's going to muck up the the sound for people. Ooh, this is thrilling me. I hope it's 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 not just chairs. I hope it's something extraordinary and fab. Love them. I love the little turn table. so bitterly disappointed when they're not really for anything that moves. Put this in there. Anything else? Anything else for anything else? Yes. This please. of yellow. And blue. Blue and yellow go very well. My old school colours, thank you. That was our school uniform, blue and yellow. We had bright yellow hockey kit. It was thrilling. Well, it was golden actually. Honestly, we would turn up dressed in gold like we were some sort of ancient Egyptian pharaoh team or something 
Ooh, now where's that gone? There it is. The old hot dog. It does clip in. It's good, isn't it? We've seen those before, of course. Uh, on the... Uh, Welcome to Apocalypse Burg is the one that immediately springs to mind. bone down here that must be for the dog the dalmatian how brilliant that we now know all about dalmatians and firemen thanks to jordan oh it is just a swiveling chair i mean all right but i wanted it to be something dazzling i tell you what do you, i hope you don't mind but i really am going to have to turn the heater on and uh, I hope it doesn't impair your uh, enjoyment of sort of what the last 10 minutes, but I'm absolutely freezing in here. It's absolutely bitter. So hang on. Hang on, please. Thank you. Thank you for indulging this. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if, if, if I saw you take the fence and said, do you mind if I actually find warm? You'd probably say, no, we don't mind if you're warm, Emma. No, but it is quite loud, so apologies uh, for that. But it's an emergency today. It's it's it is. But it's I've practically got icicles coming off my nose. I might be able to turn down the the audio anyway, so I'll try and make it as unobtrusive as possible. Ooh. Oh, we've got some stickers now. Got sticker number two. Sticker number two. And sticker number three. Sticker number three. Sticker number two. And sticker number three. So this is a calendar and we've got an award for the Dalmatian there we go and then turn this over Ah, uh, now then, this, do you remember right at the beginning when I got out the stickers and I saw a sticker and I said, that better not be what I think it is, but it is, it is, and I, and I don't agree with it. Uh, it's this sticker, sticker number one, sticker number one, and it's a sticker of a bed. And sorry, sorry, but we like to make our beds here on relax with bricks we do not like to just put a sticker on and call it a bed I mean unacceptable that's unacceptable it's absolutely unacceptable and what's happening here now this your thoughts on that please Bobby. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Bum, 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 bum. She's a good one, isn't she? That Georgie Gobon getting me a, a little blow heater for the Lego shed. I didn't even ask her to. She just presented me with it. 
all of a sudden like she cares about me or something i know it's it's disconcerting it's disconcerting oh we're going to have something exciting here look it's a little pole little fireman's pole Something for Jackie Swan to get excited about. Oh, boy, yourself. She's got herself big hand, little hand. Right, what's happening now? Four of these. Windows in. I think I can turn that heater off now. I've, I've, I've generated enough puff to get me through the next five odd minutes. Hang on, please. Hang on, please, callers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me warm myself up. Oh, look, he's sitting in here. Te no, it's not he, it's a she, Terry. Terry's sitting here having a nice cup of coffee. Enjoy yourself, Terry. Now that. Sorry, Fruity Pup. Oh, Emma. Sorry, little Sue. Sorry, sorry, little Sue. This is very reminiscent now of, of Ghostbusters, isn't it? The Ghostbusters fire hoose. Especially with these bits. Lovely. Oh, hang on. Putting some bits over there as well. A single. And a six. I'm in tri I've got absolute heap of these pieces and I'm intrigued to see what we're going to be doing with those. TBH. How are we doing for time? I think I'm going to do this next little bit and then I'll stop for the day. And then we'll have plenty to finish up with tomorrow. And a four. Do you believe 
that's it yeah all right okay we shall we'll stop there for today um some lovely little detailing in here i don't agree with that at all uh but apart from that uh lovely farmer's pole enjoy jackie's one um so come back tomorrow and we'll finish this lovely little set off um have works forever see you then bye bye